For this tag video I wanted to do a collection of my six favourite nail varnishes. Now a lot of them are from Barry M but it's for good reason, it's a good brand. Um, the basic nail varnish I have in this set is the clear nail varnish. Now this is a nail hardener, a top coat and a base coat. Now to be perfectly honest there's no difference between a top coat and a base coat. The base coat is just meant to create a barrier between the nail varnish that you put on top so that your nail doesn't get stained and the top coat is just meant to make it a little bit harder so it's less likely to chip. But this is hands down the best one I've ever found and I absolutely love it, especially if you put it on top of a cheaper nail varnish which is a little bit more likely to chip. If you put two coats of this over it you won't have that problem. And then I've got a black nail varnish. Now I know this isn't everyone's style but it's absolutely lovely. I love this nail varnish. If I'm in a little bit of a bad mood I like to wear black nail varnish. And you only really need to apply two coats and then it'll be a lovely pure black. It won't go all opaque on you and end up looking grey. But it also looks lovely underneath some of the following colours I'm going to show you. This colour, Silvery Lilac, by itself it's okay as a bridal look, um, for not bridal look, <laughs> for bridal nails, but when you put it on top of the black, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the same goes for this one in copper. It's got so many colours. This is my favourite out of all of them. It's just ugh, shiny, it's pretty, it's got all these different colours. I like that it's just, I mean look at it, it's shiny, it's pretty, I love it. What I also like is that you can get quite a few very beautiful variations with this. Again, you can put the black underneath it and like the pink lilac. It just makes the colours stand out more, it's just you can really see all those lovely greens and golds and reds in it. It also looks beautiful by itself but one variation that I really like is to put the elf matte finisher on top of it because it just looks odd, it's quite a shiny nail varnish and then when you put the matte finisher on top it's just, it's interesting to look at and it's a combination that I really like. This colour is quite an interesting one because it's not the kind of colour I would normally gravitate towards. I like nail varnishes which are very shiny, I like things with lots of glitter and a lot of colours in them. But this colour is quite a safe colour but it's absolutely amazing, I love this. Apart from the fact it's really pigmented, you sometimes don't really need to apply two coats even though it, it does look better with two coats but it's just that pigmented and it's got all these gorgeous flecks of kind of gold and orange in it and what I like is that they made a safe colour that isn't boring, so I really like this nail varnish. The last one I'm going to show you is the e.l.f. matte finish. Now this one's quite interesting because normally nail varnishes have a shelf life, at least with Barry M that I've found, they have a shelf life of about two to three years. This one really has a shelf life of six months or a year pushing it. After that it gets thick and gloopy. For example, the one I'm showing you here, this is one that I've had for over a year and after a year it just gets impossible to work with. You end up having to apply way too much to get coverage and because of that you get all these ridges and bumps and then you get little things like at the end of the nail here. It's just you miss patches and it's really annoying so even though I absolutely adore this nail varnish it's the kind of thing that if you're going to use you have to use it quickly you can't let it sit for a year but if you have a new bottle it's fine and you can get some beautiful effects with it and just take a nail varnish which maybe you're a little bit bored with and then pop this on top. <laughs>